Now, sportsmanship in the modern era is often something critics have identified as lacking, but a campaign is well underway to promote the ideals of good sporting behaviour to aspiring athletes. The Great Sportsmanship Programme is growing, and along with it comes a new book which the organisers would like to distribute throughout the country. Here to tell us more is John Legrand, the Asia and Middle East promoter for the Great Sportsmanship Programme. John, a great pleasure. Thank you very much for coming in. I've got the, the book here in front of me. It's, it's a fascinating read. Uh, tell us a bit more about it and, and the programme itself. Thank you for the invitation, Graham. Um, the book itself was written by a good friend of mine and the founder of the programme itself, Paul Smith, an Irishman living in London. There are 80 uh, inspiring stories in there about acts of sportsmanship probably over the last 100 years. Um, it's available both in soft and hard copy. Um, I have two favourites. My first one is um, when British and German soldiers actually had a truce on Christmas Day during the First World War and decided to go out into no man's land and have a game of football. Um, and that showed that even, <laughs> even during the war there could be some friendship. Um, the other great, great favourite of mine is a contemporary Chinese swimmer, a guy called He Junquan, who has won gold and other medals in the Olympics, but always finishes a race, win or, lo or lose, with a big smile on his face. Now what's probably even more amazing is that this gentleman has no arms. So the only way he can stop is to bang his head on the wall at the end of the race. And yet he still comes up smiling. So he's my hero. Uh, incredible stories, and, and there's loads more in this book. Uh, how, how have kids, when they, they've read it and, and discussed it, how have they reacted to it? Kids love it. It's inspirational. Um, kids love stories anyway, and they love stories with happy endings. And there's lots and lots of happy endings here. And really this become the foundation for the programme itself. So we take the, the book, we take a workbook, we take a guide for teachers and trainers, we go into the schools and colleges, we go into sports organisations and basically we, we share the, the good values of sportsmanship and we promote uh, sport and sportsmanship, so all and sundry. As I said at the beginning there, often the, the media focuses on unsportsmanlike behaviour. Do you think that's just a case of it, it sells more newspapers or is that uh, an indictment of modern sport really? I think it's not just a, a sports issue, I think it's a general news issue as well. Um, we don't focus on the negative, we focus on the positive. So each day on our Facebook page, we get one or more stories of great sportsmanship from anywhere in the world. Um, and we focus our energies on the positive side. Uh, and, and obviously you want to get as many kids, kids to read this book as possible. And you're hoping that Emirates News viewers can help with that. What can we all do? Well, we hope so, sir. Um, we are at a great stage right now. Everything works. It's very inspirational. People love it. So now we want to give the book away to all the kids and put them all through the programme. For that, we need help. We're looking for ambassadors, good people who can help in any way. And we're also looking for sponsors too. Fantastic. Well, um, we're having a look at the book now. It's it's fantastic read. Oh, we, uh, Jesse Owens on the front, Pele, uh, Bobby Moore on there. It's great stuff. We wish you well. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you so much indeed, Graham. Thank you.